This is the ECU E38. Uh, 12 volt goes here, CAN bus connect here to this board, have the MCP2515 and has the jumper here to properly terminate the CAN bus. This Uring NT has been modified with the power supply black wire from here to get the 5 volt and this 5 volt connect to the MCP board. The 3.3 volt direct from the Uring NT does not work well with this ECU. And then we connect to the uh, hub and power on the uh, Uring NT. Now first we are going to program the master. Uh, here we select the target here. Uh, the if you select the canvas, you will see the E thirty eight can, and then we can power on the twelve volt. Uh, wait about ten seconds, so we can uh, get connected. So let's click detect and we get the debug on, we detect the flash. Now we can select the all flash to make a good backup first. So here we get the backup. The read speed is about 20, uh, 32 kilobyte and the flash size is two megabytes. So it will take about one minute to do the read. I have reconfigured uh, the E38 configuration as boot zone and system OS and always program the system OS uh, first and if necessary program the boot but normally I do not see, find this is needed because uh, the so, sometimes canvas can be flaky and it, it will you know get stuck then you, your ECU has to be recovered by the BDM mode but if you only program the system OS only and if you do mess it up the ECU can still boot up and we can still program it. So this is read properly we can save the file with the VIN number and save it. So we can do a verification so let's do one, one verify Now you can also save the system OS separately if you want. This is the second read to make sure we have the proper uh, backup. So if compare OK, we have two reads and, and matches then we are okay to proceed. So verify okay, so we, are, we have a good backup. Now let's try to program or erase something and I will trying to avoid touch the boot uh, here just let's say I want to erase this area so I erase this area called system OS and also you can select this range here system OS and erased now you can blank check this area let's blank check this area this is about 90% of the flash uh, in the system OS area boot area is very small The blank check is read all the flash back and make sure every byte, uh, every bit is uh, every byte is FF, and that means it's erased. Okay, it's blanked. So now I'm going to only program the system OS. The boot zone is not touched. So we, if we compare, boot zone is still there, but the system OS is blanked. So now I'm you know, since we have the legit data in here, I'm going to click right here 
and it will do a, another round of flat uh, erase, which is okay. It's XJ erase, and then it started programming it. The setup, the configuration, the uh, a lot of stuff is very similar to E sixty uh, E sixty seven. Uh, same same configuration and the same slave architecture. We will show the slave programming a little bit later. Okay, program pass and it's doing the automatic uh, verify. So we have programmed the flash and as well we read back and erase. Now I'm going to switch to the slave here. So first you need to power off the ECU. I'm going to power off. And then I can select the slave. So, so I go to, go to config and select can. So E38 can slave. And let's power on. Wait about 10 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And let's, uh, I think the tech does not work. We need to load the slave OS properly. So let's go to the slave here. Uh, we need to load the system OS this way. And uh, this file. Before you do anything, the slave works same as E67. You need to load the file first. There is no read feature, no verify feature yet. So if you, then you click right, and it will enter the debug on and starting to do the programming. And this just a program take one uh, nine seconds to program the slave. So with the Unink NT. Uh, this setup, you can program the master and the slave uh, with one setup. Uh, in, if you want to do the BDM mode method, yeah, you need to connect the uh, BDM separately because the CPU is different. But uh, BDM method allows you to do a lot faster as well as if the ECU is a complete bricked, you can still recover with the, the BDM method. You cannot de-brick the ECU if the ECU is, is bricked with the canvas method. 